Hi, it's Gwendolyn at Lifestyle So. And yes, I know I am having a bad hair day. <sighs> no matter what I've done with it, I just can't get it right today. So I, I've just gone for a walk outside in the sun and it's bitterly cold, although it looks like it's a red hot day. <laughs> I totally got windswept. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> We're going to do something... Um, it's probably a little different we're going to do a label for a quilt uh but a printed label how to use your printer to actually print out your label for the quilt and then um you can sew it on any way you want um so that's what we're going to do today so come along right there's a few things you need before we start first of all we need our rotary cutter our a four sheet of paper and a yoohoo stick uhu stick of glue i use this for so many things gosh in, in patchwork it's just an amazing little thing right you've got your a4 piece of paper and you oh and a piece of material that's the most important thing now your material uh, just wants to be something that this has got a light pattern on it but when it's printed the text is actually going to show up on this print and that's fine so we're just gonna yoohoo glue if I get the right end oh! it's alive I don't even have to do it just bits and pieces you know just try and get around the corners that's all you need That is all you need. And now we're going to just put the piece of material wrong side down, so right side facing up. Smooth it over. And that's fine. First of all, let's just get rid of the wastage. That would help, wouldn't it, if I just put uh, a ruler down. You need a ruler as well. Not doing well. So what we need is a ruler, a rotary cutter, a piece of material, a four sheet of paper that's going to go in your printer, and a yoohoo stick. Oh, is that round the right way? Can you see that yoohoo stick? It's a stick of glue. Now I've just bought this ruler. It's great. It's the shimmy Murray Uber. It's got that like tacky uh, stickiness on the back. And uh, once it gets unsticky, you just give it a little rinse under the tap and it should be good to go again. So all we're doing now is literally taking off, making it an A4 sheet of paper. That's literally all we're doing. You can see the line from underneath. Um, you can see that line quite clearly. <clears throat> okay just make sure you have got the, uh, the A4 as well that you actually can see it underneath and it's awful and this is the last side um, so once you put this the ruler down, can you see that? Can you move that around? That ruler's not moving anywhere. Okay, so now we've got our A4 sheet of paper. See? A4 sheet of paper with our backing, material backing that is on it. It's glued on it. It's only temporary glued on it, obviously. That is just a temporary glue stick. So now we are going right in Word whatever you want to say you're just going to press print that's all you're going to do with your computer or your laptop or where, whatever you're doing and then just press print have a look where it's at um i try to do two of them so uh, i want two two labels one at the top and one at the bottom just in case i make a mistake uh, when i sew on things so 
type out, make sure it fills in there. You don't want a little tiny little text. You want to be able to read it. So nice, just fill it in about five inches by four inches or something like that on one side and then do another one. Right, so we're at the computer now. I've plugged it in and it goes into my printer. There is nothing in my printer. This printer is a HP Jet, Jet um, DeskJet 3050A. And so all we're going to do, we're going to put the piece of paper with the material stuck onto it. And we're going to put it into the printer facing you. And now I'm going to print it. My, that printed it very quick, didn't it? Oh my goodness me. See how quick that printed that. That was in a heartbeat. Um, and that's it. Now, well, it's not it actually. We have to take it and we have to iron this. We have to set the ink with hot uh, with a hot iron. So this has to be set with a hot iron. So we've got our printed A4 sheet here. And that's that. All we have to do with that, and then I'm just going to cut this in half now. So there you go. There's the cook label finished with an edging stitch. I like to do it uh, that it's light so it shows up on the back of the quilt so it's hard to find. Some people like to have it roughly the same colour, but uh, they do different types of labels. But if you want a label, that's um, a printed label. You can put anything on here. You can even do designs on here. Whatever you can do on your computer, when you print it out, it will print out on your label. There you go. So I hope that's been helpful for you. If it has, give me uh, a thumbs up and subscribe. Pop over to our YouTube channel. It's starting to get active now. Um, and we're getting lots of comments from uh, different people. And I'll see you soon. Happy sewing.